right. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Well, hello everybody. This is the Mr. Marty Show. Welcome to the 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 show, the Mr. Marty Show, the Mr. Marty Show, 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 we're so glad that you're here. So glad that you're here. So glad that you're here. Let down your hair. So glad you're here. At the Mr. Marty Show. The Mr. Marty Show. The Mr. Marty Show. The Mr. Marty Show. Mr. Marty Show. Wow, what a week it's been. I don't know how your week has been, but it's been a week. It's been a week and it's only Thursday. I could go through a litany of stuff that's happened to me and, you know, when we're in a pandemic, we're not supposed to be doing anything, right? Shouldn't we just be watching like reruns? On TV, that's the thought, the going concern, but it hasn't been happening this week, so it's kind of an interesting week for me. Um, you know, I, I did a harebrained thing. I, I ordered some pea gravel, and um, the pea gravel has not arrived. And uh, the not that that's a huge thing, but the interesting thing about it is, by ordering pea gravel, I have set the universe in motion. Um, of causing, you know, some sort of crazy thing. So I called the, the place where I got the pea gravel and I was told that the pea gravel was going to arrive. So everything, tell me if you've ever had this experience, everything on the day, which was yesterday, was based upon the arrival of the pea gravel. But it was like waiting for Godot. The pea gravel never arrived. Even though I called and I said, when's the pea gravel arriving? The pea gravel will arrive. It was like a Zen thing, and it didn't arrive. So finally, today I called, and I said, you know, the pea gravel never arrived. And they said, well, that's because the truck broke down. And I said, it would have been nice to tell me that the truck broke down. And they said, yes, it would have been nice if they told you the truck broke down. So that's, uh, that's kind of how my week has been. So it's been an interesting week, but you know what? Today's Thursday, we're on the cusp of the weekend. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, we got Anya here today, and uh, we got Sandeep on assignment uh, for this show and the next show. Uh, as you know, Sandeep and I are working very hard on getting the Canadian extravaganza going on. And uh, so Sandeep actually is scouting that location which is north of Wawa, Ontario, at a beautiful resort. So I can't wait for that to happen. But um, let's get right to it. Let's get right to the music here. Um, a lot of letters this week. Uh, crazy thing. And Sandeep, if you are listening, I hope you're doing okay up there in Canada. If you made it across. So uh, it's crazy. But that's, um, that's how it is. Uh, let's see here. This is an old, old, old song, kind of. Um, it's one that uh, has never made it onto a record, and uh, it's called "Since You Left uh, uh, Since You Let Me Out of Your Heart." So just think, it's kind of a you know a sad kind of draggy song here, and uh, hope you like it. Um, I like it. It's got a, you know 
it's got a little bit of that down on Main Street feel almost too. So, um, uh, so here we go. Let's see if it's gonna go. All right. Well, that's the wrong one, Annie. Hit that one. All right. My tech, uh, the lovely Annie. There you go. Now I'll try it. What the hell's that one over there? Yeah, no, no, that's the, the problem with two iPads. Okay. so we can see what the problem is. Folks, here comes Anya. <laughs> Live action tonight. Come here. All right. I don't want to pull the bunny apart. Folks, this is uh, this is Parenting 101. So Anya, tell tell everybody, have a seat. Welcome. Everybody, let's put it up for Anya. She's uh, Anya McCormick. Uh, sit down and uh, tell us how did you uh, how did you put a knot in the, the bunny's legs? How did you do it? I just did it like any knot. You did it like any knot. Well, now the bunny has been unknotted. So let's um 
Thank you. Uh, let's let's go to the next song, uh, Anya. And I think you need your harmonica, right? So let's. Uh, we had a lot of a uh, lot of letters that came in, uh, like I said, and a lot of letters were talking about Anya and uh, and having her um, really liked when she played the harmonica, and so we're going to have her play the harmonica. All right, give me the bunny. I'm gonna. All right, do you want to see the bunny fly? Here we go. <laughs> All right, best thing for that bunny. Okay, one, two, three, and.
All right. Let's give it up for Anya. All right. You know, Anya, I'm, I'm going to preempt a, a letter. Uh, somebody said that you should be telling jokes. So do you have a kindergarten joke that you can share with the public right now? So get on the mic and just say it nice and loud. Nice and loud like you're talking normally in class. You don't need to no, just, just talk. Okay. Nice and loud. Um, can I just talk right here? Huh? Can I just talk right here? Yeah, you can talk right there. That's good. Um, what is the single thing you wear every day? What is the single thing you wear every day? I do not know. A uniform. A uniform. <laughs> kindergarten humor. You gotta like that. Do you have another kindergarten joke? I, I'm sure you're rolling at home. Um, but go ahead. What's another one? I think I have a funny story. A funny story? Okay, well go ahead and talk and talk nice and loud like you're talking to your mama. Okay? Don't be so shy. All right. What's the story? Um. Huh? Okay. What if the teacher one day forgot everything to learn? And one of the kids had to teach the teacher to learn the things that the kids are supposed to learn, but the teacher is actually supposed to teach them. So in other words, what what if the teacher came to school and she said, I forgot to learn, no, no, I forgot to teach. No, no, she forgot. Like, what? She, like, she's writing and then... She write the wrong answer and then, and then like one kid raised uh -huh. his hand and said, "But Miss Hopburn has to write. That's the wrong thing. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be twelve. Well, well, that could be a dilemma. I mean, that's called middle age. So, you know, um, do you have, <laughs> do you have any other? One more joke. Um, one more joke. No. Uh, so far, you're you're doing great. You're knocking them out of you know. Let me just think. All right. While you're thinking, I'm going to put on the song hat because we're now in the kids section of the show. All right. And I got my song hat that uh, people uh, people said that uh, uh, again more comments said we should have a song hat for it um, for the kids section. You got a joke or no? You usually have a good knock knock joke. Um, Give us a good knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Children. Children. Children who? Our teachers got lost at school. Our teacher got lost at school. Okay, we're into this uh, whole uh, abandoned teacher thing, right? Right now. You can't think of a good one? Well, no. Uh, no problem. We'll talk to our writers after the show. I'll be Okay. Hang on. She's uh, consulting. All right. One more knock knock joke. Okay. All right. Come on on. All right. And uh, finish up with the knock knock joke, and then we've got to do the brand new song, okay? Okay. It's a good one. I think everybody knows. Alright, what is it? Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cat. Interrupting. No! Knock knock. Who's there? Quack. Quack who? Quack. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, that's, that's really good. You know what? Um, it doesn't look like it outside, but. Here in the Midwest, we are getting ready for summer, and it looks like summer is going to happen, and um, for Anya's kindergarten class, we had to put together a song about summertime, and um, let's get you on the chair. How did this rabbit, it's like the rabbit's in our yard. These things just show up. All right. I need it. You need Mr. Bunny. All right. All right. Well, just don't let Mr. Bunny, you know... Uh, get in the way of your plane, okay? All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. 
section of the show, and uh, there she goes. Six going on 36. Uh, so you're watching the Mr. Marty Show, and it's on, um, it's, uh, we're broadcasting on uh, YouTube, we're also broadcasting on Twitch. This is the first uh, um, time that we're actually doing a, a, a broadcast off of one camera. So uh, I want to thank um, uh, Sandeep uh, Gopal for uh, who's up in Canada right now, uh, for making this happen. And then also Jim Sundberg uh, uh, for helping as well. So um, uh, Jim's up in uh, Traverse City, Michigan, actually, uh, in that environment. Uh, and uh, time for the letters. And like I said, we got a lot of feedback. Um, and if you have something to say right now, all you have to do is you just have to... Uh, uh, type it into the chat room there, um, and uh, we have uh, folks, volunteers that are helping us with the, the chat, and really appreciate feedback, and love to have emails. If you want to get a hold of me, it's uh, the Mr. Marty Show one at gmail.com, the Mr. Marty Show one at gmail.com, and uh, from Joe in Wisconsin, he said, Anya should uh, present the kindergarten joke of the week. Could be a knock-knock joke or a question-answer joke. Well, uh, we uh, we try, and we uh, we're gonna get there. How can you read? You no words. you get off the set. <laughs> you wanna what? Oh oh, this is Anya's homework. That's <laughs> okay. Thank you, Anya. Yeah, we're saving paper by uh, printing on both sides. Uh, Jane in Ohio said you should feature Anya more. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. Have, uh, have her sit with you in front of the camera. She doesn't even have to be doing anything. So uh, there's a certain level of cute, I guess, that's there. So um, you can come over here if you want to sit. I mean, it's fine. But uh, uh, we got a, uh, for the first time, we got some folks from Colorado. Um, they want to know how much does it cost to sponsor the show? Well, we haven't, Sandeep and I haven't really talked about that too much. All we know is that so far, the reigning champion is Mark Winkleman with Dreamtown. And we're just waiting. Um, there's two ways that this can happen. Somebody can come in and make an offer that's going to knock out, uh, it's like a silent auction. You come in and you say you want to sponsor the show for X amount of dollars, and um, we write a jingle, and there you go. 
Or, if you have a bunch of people who are just sick and tired of the Dreamtown song, which how can you be since it's such a wonderful, beautiful song, um, you can just pool enough money and then it gets dragged off the air, just screaming and kicking. So that's, uh, that's the answer, and I hope you do get some um, work from Colorado. Uh, Betty in Texas wrote, I can't believe how grown up Anya is all of a sudden. I'm so glad to get to see her personality in action. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're such a good daddy. And even though I didn't see her, I know Annie is always right there taking care of her family. Well, that's right. My wife Annie is the glue that holds together the family. And, um, and she's also the maker of the COVID cocktail. Which is coming up pretty soon. I already have a kid one. It's pretty much all her ingredients. Oh, a kid, kitty cocktail, huh? Um, mm -hmm. uh, I add some ingredients on my own. It's okay. pretty much all the same ingredients, except there's no wine. There's no wine or something in it. Okay. Pretty much different ingredients? Okay, well, there you go, folks. Live action. Live action on the Mr. Marty Show. <laughs> Uh, Mark in Illinois wrote, The Quack Quack song is awesome. I'm no connoisseur of kids' music, but as an adult, I laugh and smile. Well, the Quack Quack song was on last, uh, the last show, but I think we're going to probably be bringing it back um, probably when we do the Canadian feature. Uh, we have a new website up, martinmccormack.com, martinmccormack.com, M-C-C-O-R-M-A-C-K.com. And if you go there, now you can sign up and we'll get you routed into the Mr. Marty show. And uh, so. It's time for the Dreamtown sponsorship of the COVID cocktail. Dreaming of a home to buy. All my dad's dream Dream To search high and low around. Chicago until your dreams found, dreams found, no place too large or small. Meet the friendly realtor who does it all, all my dreams all men. He's the friendly realtor who can do it all. Call Mark Winkle Man. That's Mark Winkle Man. Call Mark Winkle Man. At today. <laughs> All right, it's time for the COVID cocktail. And let's have the lovely Anne de Courtenay come out with it. Okay, well, I wish Sandeep was here because uh, you cannot. You can toast. You can toast me if you want. You can sit right here. You could be my Ed McMahon tonight since uh, Uncle Sandeep is on assignment. Okay, well, yeah, all right, enough of that. Um, well, first of all, we got uh, uh, my mother collected, and I don't know, um, my mom was a collector, and she collected the 25th anniversary Glenn Marty show. <laughs> um, a half a lime. Oh, nice. And uh, about an ounce of desert honey syrup. Ooh, desert honey syrup. I like that. So you kind of going with the bee thing with the murder hornet. I like that. Yeah. Uh, a couple of drops of Angostura bitters. Hmm. Okay, and, bitters. Mm -hmm. And then uh, three sprigs of fresh thyme. Well, this is a delicious drink. And uh, this weekend, I promise you, uh, uh, if you go to martinmccormick.com, we are going to write, I think we're in now three cocktails, right? Mm -hmm. uh, three cocktails. We had the darkened um, Fauci. Fauci, 
And then um, then we had the Winky. So we had the Winky, oh, and then what else we had? The Putin on the Ritz. Putin on the Ritz. So four cocktails. And again, you know, you don't have to have alcohol in them to enjoy them, but um, there you are. Um, all right. Want to clink? All right. To Uncle Sandeep on assignment. Well, folks, you know how quiet it is on set when Sandeep is not here. That's the crazy thing. That guy just talks and talks and talks. <laughs> All right. We're going to do another song here, and I'm trying to think, what is the song? What is the song we're going to do? My Heroes. Oh, yeah. Got a brand new song. So I'm going to move the... I'm going to just get things set up here. Uh, this is a, a serious song. So, um... So let's, uh, let's start right in on it, Annie. It's called, um, My Heroes Wear Masks. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's stop that and take it to the beginning. There you go. Now hit play. You're going to need to give me a tutorial on yeah, this I know. stuff, Marty. It's uh, I'm a no lot of action, folks. I'm this no sand it. deep. You're no sand deep. That's okay. Ready? ready? Yeah. Saturday mornings long ago My brothers and me Watched Green Hornet and the Lone Ranger On black and white TV My heroes wore masks those days My heroes wore or masks those days Batman and Robin went to Gelleman Masked students seeking freedom I saw those brave women and men My heroes wore masks those days My heroes wore masks those days And they do again There are those who say it's weak They refuse to see Heroes wear masks for others They look out for you and me My heroes wear masks these days My heroes where Massey's days, where Massey's days. A 
from hospitals to grocery stores On city streets and country roads Where Massey's days Where Massey's days Where Massey's days So that's a brand new song, We're Mess These Days. I think we get a little out of sync with a uh, uh, pretty good looking band, but you know, it's live action. What can you do? Well, folks. I hope you had a good time. I just want to make mention uh, with the new website, martinmccormick.com. Uh, we're always constantly trying to uh, get this show better. Our goal is to give you a lot of different stuff. And as soon as uh, we have a little more safety uh, to bring people together, we've got artists lined up. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we have a section of the show that we're going to call the Uninteresting Person Interview, where we're going to try to find somebody that's just very uninteresting and interview them. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have uh, the Irish show that's going to be coming up in June. We've got our Canadian Outdoor uh, Resort show, where everybody will be safely uh, dis distancing. And finally, if you go to martinmccormack.com, you're going to see a, a little thing to donate. And, um, you know, once upon a time, I used to say I never liked to uh, beg publicly for funds. And um, that was before the coronavirus. And uh, you know, your contribution really does help. And it helps uh, um, just have more fun. And that's, that's the big thing, to grow things and uh, make things happen. Um, not only uh, with this show, but uh, also just uh, my art in general. And I believe the best way uh, to make an impact on this world is touching people one soul at a time and uh, building that kind of um, uh, network. So you can help me, and I deeply appreciate it. Let us thank Anya McCormack for her uh, playing on the show. And come on up here and take a bow, Anya. In front of the camera, please. Nope, a little closer to me. Keep going. Edge, 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 and bow. Wow. Yes. I, I think it's been a month of doing these shows, and we've got a we got a ham, folks. We got a handful. We got a handful. Cindy Paul. Once again, on. Assignment. Can't wait for you to come back to the show, Sandy. And then we got the lovely Anne de Courtenay, who's been helping. And uh, hopefully we're still streaming. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks for watching the show.